Foxcroft and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate percentage change. So this is the formula over here to work out percentage change. You have to find the difference between the two numbers in the question, divide by the original starting value and then multiply by 100 to turn your answer into a percentage. So this formula works out percentage change. So you can use it for questions talking about percentage increase, percentage decrease, percentage profit, and also percentage loss. For all of these questions, we use this formula. So in the first question, it says the number 27 increases to the number 37, find the percentage increase. So remember, we have to start by finding the difference between these numbers. So you do the larger number, 37, minus the smaller one, because difference means subtract. Then you have to divide by the original value, which is the number it started as, so 27 in this case. Not forgetting to multiply by 100 at the end. So you can pop that in the calculator and we get a decimal answer, it's 37.037 and they're recurring there. So if I round that to three significant figures, I get 37.0%. Okay, so there's the first one, on to the next. Okay, so in this example, I buy a car for £16,350 and I sell it five years later for £11,200. So like most cars, it depreciates, it loses value over time. So we have to work out the percentage loss. So it's exactly the same formula as for the previous question, so this one here. So we have to work out the difference between these two values. So take the larger one, so £16,350 and minus the smaller value, 11,200, not forgetting to divide by the original value. So that's the value that I bought the car at. So this one here, so 16,350. And then multiply by 100 to turn it into a percentage. So pop that in your calculator, and if you round that to three significant figures, you should get 31.5%. Okay, so that was the percentage loss, when I bought the car and sold it five years later. Okay, one more to finish. Okay, so in this last example, I buy a book for $8.99, and then 20 years later, I realize it's a first edition, and I sell it for $14,200. Find the percentage profit. So just like previously, find the difference between the two values. So take the larger one and minus the smaller one. Not forgetting to divide by the original value. So the value I bought the book at in the first place. So $8.99. And then finally multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percentage. So if I do that in the calculator, I get a really huge number. I get 157,853 to the nearest whole number, and that's a percentage, okay? So that's the final answer. So I hope that's clear. I hope you now know how to work out percentage change. Remember, the wording in the question can be different each time. It might say work out the percentage change, increase, decrease, profit, loss, but it's always the same formula, this one here. Okay, so that's all from me for today and goodbye.